Okay, it's model and serial number tag, Continental UC48. Okay, this is the back of the Continental UC48. Um, it's been in the condenser fan motor. Obviously, it's a little on the tight side. Compressor runs, uh, condenser fan motor does not spin. So, uh, that's the job for today, uh, replacing that condenser fan motor. Obviously, you can't do it in place. You got to pull it out. Okay, here we have the compressor showing the close clearances between the condenser fan motor and the compressor, and also the model and serial number tag, serial number F0404, 2004 compressor. Uh, so, this is 2017. This is showing the condenser before it gets cleaned. <coughs> okay, this is showing the condensing unit pulled out on a Stanley uh, parts box and it works pretty good as you can see it's perfect height a nice little working surface so uh, this is showing the condenser after it's been cleaned with new bright um, this is showing the dirty parts before cleaning this is showing the during cleaning right here this is the new bright sprayed in the kitchen sink this is the parts after they're all cleaned up just sprayed them with new bright and brushed them off it's the 9 watt condenser fan motor that I used for the job uh, these are the tools required to do the job um, this is the unit let me put it back together I put the paper shroud in first <coughs> And lift the condenser fan motor and drop it in place. You have to do it in that order. Uh, you got to remove the paper shroud, or there's no way to get it out. Uh, it's not any room whatsoever between the condenser fan motor and the compressor. There's only like a quarter of an inch. So I uh, just uh, drop the condenser fan motor and stand and fan blade all in and uh, bolt it down and then secure the cover with the four screws on the side and condenser fan motor and let's see what this is showing the electrical <clears throat> I use uh, these blue butt connectors uh, you can get them at Home Depot uh, they work the perfect size for connecting the wires then I wrap them in electrical tape just for extra protection. And um, it's just kind of showing here and what's coming up here. It's kind of after I put the little steel clips in the top. After okay, this is showing the dirty condensate drain pan that I removed. And this is okay, this is showing the condensate drain pan after I cleaned it up with hot water and soap. Okay, this is showing the condensate drain pan installed into the back of the unit and just the general checking the condenser fan motor that doesn't hit the paper shroud um, trying to see what else I got I just guess I'm looking around with the camera see if there's anything else final product done clean the pan clean the drain tube New condenser fan motor, new bright. Close clearances here. to the rescue. Okay, this is just some bonus footage, some of the uh, pictures I took 
on the job while uh, during the job um, you probably noticed that they're in the video already just some bonus footage um, thanks for watching everybody this is a uh, dirty fan motor before I cleaned it with new bright and scrubbed it new, uh, soaked it new bright for about three minutes scrubbed it with a brush and hot water in the kitchen sink um, I think it's just an overall picture this is after the condensers been cleaned with new bright and hot water and the spray bottle and it's a condensate pan before and after it was pretty nasty um, and this is the end of the video Continental UC48 that's under counter 48 inch wide that's what the UC48 uh, means serial number is unreadable and the refrigerant um, is I believe I can't see the tag through this editing thing but it's uh, I believe it was R134A and um, like nine ounces I believe it was all right uh, thanks for watching everybody uh, click like on the video if you would please and sub, uh, subscribe and put a comment if you are so inclined all right take care have a good day bye